90 days. My whole thing wasn't, let me get to um, 90 days so I could talk my shit. It was, I'm on day one. This shit is hard as fuck. Take a cold shower. Do 100 push-ups. All right, that urge is done. Now go to sleep. Day two, same thing. It usually on day five gets the hardest where you think it's like day one, day two, day five because you already have some momentum. And as I said, and as you might might, might touch upon after, if you're spiritual, you got to understand things that are good for you. And assertiveness, number two is going to be that right fucking there. That was spot on. And um, number three, I'll say, I'll say number 2.5 is ED, which is erectile dysfunction. Actually, it prevents it because if you don't constantly have dopamine receptor, um, as I say, malfunctioners, which is when you constantly watch porn, you get a dopamine hit. Yeah, yeah. Our minds and our bodies think we're back in, you know, BC, 1800 BC, and we just basically spread our seed to um, reproduce and hold our on. lineage. And another thing about porn, mm -hmm. I don't know if this ties into what you're saying right now, but um, I know that, you know, consuming too much porn, mm -hmm. that kind of um, affects your ability to get an erection. Yeah. Because you're watching porn so much that now you need that mm -hmm. to be able to get an erection. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because you're so mm -hmm. used to watching it's all the of dopamine this. dopamine effect. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're so it's used to watching all mm -hmm. this kinky shit mm -hmm. that that's the only way you can get off. Yeah. So it's actually like a double-edged sword. So like porn can 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 in ways be beneficial mm -hmm. or, and i think more ways it can be um just bad for you yeah it could be very very harmful because for instance in college i was always watching that shit and i was still getting girls and i had way too many scenarios like steve said where i'm just here thinking i'm crazy I'm like my shit is not getting up and i tried every excuse in the book like oh it's because i'm drinking you know when you drink you get as they call it whiskey dick the reality is I just was watching porn maybe before I even met the shorty. So I'm already out of that mood, but like Steve said once more, I thought I had to be in that situation because as a man, I should be trying to chill with girls. Yeah. Where sometimes you can't really just be chilling with girls. So um, like I said, 2.5 was the erectile dysfunction and it goes back to um, blood flow. You know what I'm saying? So that that is all really an erection. It's an arousal, which forces blood, which is why when you're having sex, you know what I'm saying? You heat. You know, you get heated, you, you get warm, you sweat, all that shit. That, that's just because the arousal and the effect. So, if you're not always beating off, think about it. You'll be able to concentrate more blood flow to where it needs to go. Because your mind and your body knows when it's time to work. Which is the reason why your arm doesn't get bigger. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, your arm doesn't get bigger. You know what I mean? Well, I look like Popeye. Exactly, yeah. So, you, your mind and your body knows where exactly the blood should go. So, when you don't do it and you don't watch porn and external stimulations for pleasure your body knows it's game time yeah it's game seven you know what i'm saying at the, at the nba finals it's game seven it's on the line you've been your whole life you're ready to go yeah. so that's 2.5 number three is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be strictly gonna be um testosterone so testosterone i would say has different um sub entities mm -hmm. so like one is going to be, of course, you know, the confidence, okay. the um, the self-esteem. And then the third one of it is going to be, like I said, you'll be able to lift more, have more output in the gym. In your case, with your punches, your kicks, mm -hmm. everything will be more all around structured for you to be I'm a powerful man. You know what I'm saying? So um, have you ever even tried it for a day? Like, well, like not masturbating at all? Yeah, or masturbating or having sex or just like retaining. Um, well... As far as masturbating, like I haven't, I haven't done that, and I don't know. I can go, I can go without it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not dependent on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as far as you know, thrashing cheeks, like mm -hmm. it's it's been a little drunk, you know. Yeah. So so you know, but I actually had a conversation with my with my uh, one of my friends about that mm -hmm. about um, you know, going through periods where you just you're just not. You know, you're not fucking. Mm -hmm. So, um, and he kind of brought it to my attention that there's actually, like, benefits. Yeah. You know, because you kind of, the longer you go without it, you kind of get into a point where you, you kind of, like, realize that you don't really need it. Yeah. Because I feel like, because like I feel, word, like, when, word. You, I feel mm -hmm. like when you're doing it too much, like, obviously, if you got a girl, mm -hmm. then that's a different story, you know, because 
sex isn't the foundation of the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, there's that's just a part of it. It's a, it's a piece of that puzzle. But if you're single, you're young, you know, you you just want to have fun, you know, then you're just only fucking girls. You know, you're mm -hmm. only you're only interacting with women um, for that pleasure. Mm. So so when you go long periods of time without that, you kind of become less dependent on it, and then you realize that. Okay, like it's not even that bad. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's not that bad because you got those people that are like fiending for it, like people Slugging. that people that 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 are fucking multiple women in, in in a week, and then they go a couple days without it. Mm. They're, they're stressing, like it's not that serious. And you realize that it's not that serious when you don't get it for yeah. like a couple days or a week or whatever the time frame may be. Mm -hmm. So there's benefits to it, you know. And um, I didn't realize that until um, until I had that conversation with him, because um, I was one of those guys. I was I was I was complaining. I was like, "Damn, bro, it's, it's been real out here," you know. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm, out I'm out here just sitting in my room, staring at the wall, you know, reminiscing about the times, <laughs> reminiscing about, about the that forty minute drive, that, that yes. walk, forty minute walk. Yeah, you know so. what I'm saying, and 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 and, mm. uh, and um and them sessions, mm -hmm. you know, them backseat sessions. <laughs> Thinking about those, and I'm like, damn, man, I'm, I'm, damn, I wish, I wish I had that right now. Um, especially <laughs> in these COVID times, real, real lonely. But, um, but he kind of, you know, this conversation with my friend, he made me realize that it's actually a good thing. It's not bad, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as as I make it out to be, you mm -hmm. know. And also another thing is, is that, like you said, you know, the longer you go without it, when it actually happens, it's game time. You Ooh. know, it's it's. It's like it feels like yo, it feels like the time. first yeah, it feels me. like the first time you're gonna bust the most yes. vicious nut you yeah. ever. <laughs> That's you know just gonna be so free and I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, so it's it's a good thing, you know? And um so don't think that it's bad, you know. Don't think that not being able to uh, ejaculate, not, you know, going through these these long spells mm -hmm. of, of being um you know, in a drought with no with no cheeks. Mm -hmm. You know, don't think that it's bad, you know. It's it's actually uh, beneficial, but you won't know that until time pass. Yeah. I, I like that a lot, actually, what you said, though. Because, you know, I, I, I've been in that same scenario and I've even talked to friends who... We both know mutual friends. I'm not going to say the name, but when I say this example, you know what I'm talking about. They they did a drug for like three years. So... Yeah. <laughs> so, it, it was one of those things where he was stressing, stressing. It's, it's sad that I just know off of those words. Off, the, off of those words, he already pieced together. He sees it. He's visualizing the person's face, but... Let's pray for this man. You feel me? Quick prayer up. So what he told me is the same thing you said, where it's like, he said, now when I go out, I don't focus on getting bitches because I know they ain't coming in. Well, for this individual, yeah. you should have canceled this realization a long time ago. Because, <laughs> um, you know, three years, damn, if you ain't realized it till three years, you was really in denial. And don't get it twisted, it ain't, it ain't, it's only been like two weeks for me. But damn, <clears throat> if it took three years for you to come to that realization, <laughs> It's a head scratcher. Yeah, that's a lot of days around this earth. That yeah, guy that's really a lot had of that, that guy really got faith. Be too, mu too much. Too so, much. So it, it goes like we we joke, you know what I'm saying? Here we like to be real, but we also like to have fun and just, yeah. you know, you can't be serious all the time because I feel like the shit we do already is going to be, it's structured for growth. So we can be here mugging and serious and just, you know, hoorah alpha, but like we know who we are at the end of the day. You, you, you could also be. Cool. You can be, as I say, charismatic. You have to have more magnetism the way you guys communicate. So, as a man, this also is not really semen retention um, based for like what I'm trying to get at next. But you see the way we're conversing? It's not high energy or low energy. It's just very, it's smooth. It's genuine. And as I talked about in my last video, it's um, authentic. You need to be more authentic in all your interaction. What I want to discuss next is um. <clears throat> You know Mike Tyson, they said he did seam retention for five years. Have you heard that before? Um, nah, but like I know he said it in in the, in the Joe Rogan podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't actually um I didn't watch it yet. So yeah, yeah, know. okay, okay. Cause because you know his old coach, was it Mike Diamato? What's his name? Um Customato. Cust Cust yeah, so he's the one who pretty much told Mike Tyson, you know, so many things about um what you see you can manifest and things like that, but it starts with not spilling your seed and as you said, um putting yourself in a mindset where guys who are in a drought, all they can think about within each hour is why am I not getting no cheeks? I need to get yeah. some cheeks and we find some cheeks. So when Mike Tyson had the youngest champion all time had the vision that 
I'm gonna be a champion. It's not. I need to get some bitches. It, it's. I'm gonna be a champion. You have to understand everything is a, a balance. Being I mean, he was getting. He was getting them. Yeah. When he had the championship. Facts. It, it was coming. <laughs> it was coming by mm -hmm. the by the load. You know. Yeah. But he, obviously, he, facts. Yeah, but he Too knew. Many. But he knew that in order to be successful in what it was that he was doing, mm -hmm. he had to like put all the other shit aside. Yeah. He had I understand to, he had your that Tunnel vision. Yeah. So. And even today, somebody in my comment section asked me, they're like, um, I put a video the other day, it was like 10 semen retention benefits, and somebody commented, he was like, um, I'm on day five, when am I going to start seeing the benefits? And I said, everybody's different, you feel me? Like, when I used to be a chronic masturbator, um, because that's all I knew, that's what everybody else around me, what people were doing, so I'm like, alright, that must be the norm. It took me two days of stop doing it, and I instantly started seeing results and benefits, so I asked him, like, how deep are you in it? Like, if you're not already based off of your past, somebody who always was constantly engaging in it, it could take you, honestly, five days. You have five days, wait till tonight, see how you feel. At most, it could take a week, you know, and things like that, so. And honestly, like, the, you'll be surprised what what the human body can get comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, if we are, you know, if we're dealing with something long enough, you know we'll we'll get used to it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 just the way it is. So like it's always it's gonna be tough regardless in the beginning, like he said. But if you stick with it, it's gonna become natural. Like it's, yeah. it's gonna it's not even you're not even gonna notice it. Yeah, so. and, and it's all perspective. So also what I told him, I was like, you should be trying to inherit semen retention as a lifestyle. You should be trying to harness it as a tool, and don't just do it because you think it's 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 cool. It's a wave. It's cool to say I did five days. But now you're asking me questions like I'm at five days now what? Nah, nigga, like this should be a lifelong thing. I don't entertain things because it looks cool. You feel me? I I, I wouldn't deprive myself of something I want to do because it might feel good to say accolade. When I did ninety days, my whole thing wasn't let me get to um ninety days so I could talk my shit. It was I'm on day one, this shit is hard as fuck. Take a cold shower, do hundred push ups. Alright, that urge is done. Now go to sleep. Day two, same thing. It usually on day five gets the hardest where you think it's like day one, day two, day five because you already have some momentum. And as I said, and as you might might, might touch upon after, if you're spiritual, you got to understand things that are good for you, there'll always be obstacles thrown at you. So when you think you're in the clear, I'm telling you on day five, understand that, you know, it's a spiritual warfare. We're in the battlegrounds. Things, devils, demons, whatever your spiritual belief are, they're going to be thrown at you with certain urges, certain things on Instagram if you're on it. These are all stimulant things, you feel me? When I got to day 90, and I did relapse on day 90, which is so mad. I was so mad. I went on YouTube. First thing I see is some, some bitch twerking. <laughs> it, it sucks. Went out that night, you feel me? Went to the club, bagged something, and usually I could contain myself, but I was so like a kid giddy. Yeah. I knew I was, I'm finishing. And I finished, and I felt so... I felt so dead inside because it's like you do so much and I was like, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. It probably took me two minutes because it's been 90 days. So I was with chicks for two minutes and I was like 90 days, 90 days for two minutes. Yeah. You know I mean? That's like 5,400 hours. Yeah, exactly. But, two um, minutes. Yeah. But yeah, but I feel like, um, like you were saying about the, um, the obstacles being thrown at you like you know no matter what like there's always gonna be when you think that you've that you're good that you're in the clear it's gonna be an obstacle being mm -hmm. thrown at you and then when you get past that it's gonna be another this is the way it is you know so but don't let that discourage you like don't like 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 you know like he literally just said after 90 days he failed you mm -hmm. know he, he gave in to the urge but he didn't let that stop him. Like he mm -hmm. didn't let that discourage him to the point where he just gave up and mm -hmm. he was just like, whatever. If if, if I'm gonna fail, or if I'm gonna give in to my urge this far off, like this far, you know, then what's the point? Like mm -hmm. he he acknowledged what he did, and and he he proceeded. He yeah, kept ninety going. days. Yeah. Then I did six days after exactly. that. Exactly. So forty five. So so perfect. So that's a perfect mm -hmm. example. You know, don't get discouraged. We're we're only human. You know, we're not Thank perfect. You. We're not perfect. We're going to mess up. We're going to mm -hmm. fuck up. It's just the way it is. Like, as even even if you, you know, have reminders set, you whatever, if you're one of those crazy people that you got 
little stickies all over the house and to remind you it don't matter what mm -hmm. you do. We're gonna fail no matter what, just the way it is. But just be prepared that that is a likely um, potential that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know, just just know that that is very very likely, um, and just don't get discouraged when it happens. Mm. Just just acknowledge what you did, move forward, and just try to be better. And that's all. That's all we could do. Yeah. You know? And that's what he did. So, you know, we we can all do it. You know. That's a, that's a great perspective on it. I'm happy. I'm real happy you touched upon it. Where. I think people go into it and they make it harder for them themselves with yeah. the journey because they say I'm gonna start today and they end up. We are just now talking about obstacles and the camera just died. So just facing obstacle ourselves. You feel me? But we right here back on it. So um, once more to reiterate once more the three benefits, which is going to be the aggression, the assertiveness. Number two, number two is going to be the um the disciplinary action that steve really touched upon which i really really enjoyed because that was a great perspective and mindset on it so that's number two and 2.5 i'll throw that in there is the erectile dysfunction prevention and number three is testosterone which is going to lead to of course you know gym power output it's going to be the confidence and number three of the entities of testosterone is going to be your self-esteem so we're going to wrap this up like i said it was a great time with my guy um, add me on IG, it's at Panther Wisdom and at Panther Mentality and make sure you add my guy right over here. He's going to plug in his handles, his IG, Snapchat, whatever else he wants to plug in there. Yeah, so uh, my IG is um, Fresh Prince Rivera and uh, my snap is uh, Fly Guy 203 So, um, you know, follow me there, I, you know, I appreciate it. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. That's all it is. So yo, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you you need assistance on. You feel me? If you're in the journey and you need some extra um, motivation, inspiration, or just insight on where you should be currently on your journey on day three to day 90, I can give you insight because I've lived it. That's the best way to get experience. So that being said, peace.